What up, what up, that's an his squad, and welcome back, guys. Say it's your boy, Sean. Hey, your girl. Yes, yes, yes. Now. Welcome, s and squad. How are you guys doing today? We hope you guys are absolutely amazing. Yes, guys, if you're having a rough day, let's turn around right now with some good energy and some good content, all right? All right. Some lovely wife who yes. we have today, babe. Okay, yeah. today we'll be reacting to Inside the Titanic Sub Disaster, the Titanic Sub Disaster. You guys sent this to us. Yes. I can't wait to get into it. I can't wait to get into it. We both love the movie Titanic. Yes. Awesome movie, all right? Yeah. So, guys, before we get into it, make sure you like, comment, um, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on your post notification bell so you guys be notified. Let's go ahead and dive into it, babe. Good energy, good content. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Catastrophic implosion. The unthinkable became all too real this past week as we learned of the fate of undersea explorer Stockton Rush's Titan submersible on its way to the Atlantic grave of the Titanic. Oh my God. The Lord. questions, the second guessing, David Pogue tells us, are likely to continue for a long time to come. Last summer, a company called Ocean Gate invited Sunday morning to join an expedition to the Titanic. At the time, I was thrilled. Next time I come out of this doorway, I'll either be a changed man forever or cursing the bad weather. As the whole world knows now, Ocean Gate's business was taking adventure seekers on these Titanic dives. Well, we're sitting on the Titanic. We yeah. are on the Titanic. Whoa! For $250,000 a ticket. What? On a one of a kind carbon fiber submersible called the Titan. Carbon fiber is a great material. It's better than titanium, it's better than a lot of other materials. This is Stockton Rush, the CEO of Ocean Gate and the designer of the sub. Last Sunday, as he was piloting the sub to the Titanic, it imploded, killing him and his four passengers. What? We spent nine days. Wow. What in the world? 250,000 a ticket? The the submarine Killed, imploded. imploded, and killed five people. Lord, jeez, it looks like a kid is on there. Wow. It looks like a kid is inside of that submarine. Let's let's keep watching. At sea love. with Rush last summer, and in wake of the tragic news, we thought you might like to see more of what we saw and hear more of what Stockton Rush said. The Titan wasn't like any previous deep sea submersible. There was no dashboard just a touchscreen computer and a single power button. We only have one button, that's it. <laughs> Wait a minute, I've, I've seen what? submersibles and they are banks of controls, yeah. like, like cockpit after cockpit. Exactly, and this is to other submersibles what the iPhone was to the Blackbird. But many of its components what? seemed surprisingly cheap. For views outside the sub, he had installed store-bought security cameras. So As for the ceiling what? lights, I got these from uh, Camper World. And then there was the steering unit. Um, we run the whole thing with this game controller. Oh, oh no. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, something's wrong. <laughs> something's clearly wrong. Is that like a PlayStation controller? With store bought cameras. What? With all these millions of dollars? And there's only one button inside. No way. Sorry, I declined. This is, this is so... Can't go down there. Oh, this is a huge disaster. So it seems like a lot of the way you made this is by taking off-the-shelf parts and sort of MacGyvering them together. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Does that not raise anybody's eyebrows in the industry? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm definitely an outlier. There were a lot of rules out there that didn't make engineering sense to me. Everyone I know keeps what? asking me the same question. Why would you get on that dangerous sub? Well, first of all, Stockton Rush had the credentials. He majored in aerospace engineering at Princeton. He designed and flew his own airplanes. He designed previous submersibles. Second, he was emphatic that the important parts of the Titan were rock solid, like the carbon fiber body for which NASA served as a consultant. 
Okay. There's certain things that you want to be uh, buttoned down, and that's the pressure vessel. Once the pressure vessel is, you're certain it's not going to collapse on everybody, everything else can fail. Your thrusters can go, your lights can go, you're still going to be safe. Third, I was convinced by an expert, P.H. Narjale, the veteran deep sea explorer who also perished in the Titan. Over the years, he'd been to the wow. Titanic more than just about anyone. How many times have you been? Uh, with the last uh, dive, uh, 37 times. You've been to the wow. Titanic 37 times? Yes. I was in charge of uh, one, two, three, four, five, five sub. How different is the Titan from those other subs? Completely different. Most of them, you have a sphere. Was there never a point when you wondered about the, the safety of the sub at that depth? No. Two or three years ago, I had a phone call with uh, Stockton, and he explained to me that he was doing a, a lot of tests. He showed me some the, the ways they were building the stuff. I said, OK, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> no problem to dive in the sub. I was also impressed by the sub's seven redundant systems for returning to the surface. These are roll weights. We can actually roll this up and those come off. That gains us some buoyancy to come back to the surface. Okay. These triple weights, we call them, are, uh, are hydraulically driven. Expedition manager Kyle Bingham. Underneath this tray hang these bags. We're around, around 35 pounds. And those hang down there. Typical dive will have eight of them. Uh, we can also use our thrusters. We have enough power to thrust back up. And then under this last fairing here, we have our variable ballast tank or soft ballast. It's an air bladder that we use a big 10,000 PSI air tank that's under the tail to fill that up, fill it with air, and then that helps bring us to the surface. There were even sandbags that detach automatically after about 16 hours, even if everyone inside had passed out. Their connectors would dissolve in seawater. So you have a backup of a backup of a backup of a backup of a backup. Correct. All stations are reporting the dive to go, please stand by. Finally, the crew seemed to foster a culture of safety. There were checklists, inspections before and after every dive, and a three strikes rule. If three things seemed out of the ordinary, no matter how minor, they'd cancel the dive. I learned that the hard way on our own dive. We're in the water, we're floating. Woo! At this point, divers are supposed to detach the oh, sub yeah. from its launch platform. So apparently those floats there came off the platform and that wasn't supposed to happen. So we're scrubbing? Yeah, yeah, I think that's the consensus up here. Copy that. I never did see the Titanic, and I wasn't unusual. In wow. Ocean Gate's first two summers of Titanic operations, it spent a total of 50 days floating above the shipwreck site. But because of waves, bad weather, and malfunctions, the Titan actually made it to the Titanic only 12 times. But through it all, Stockton Rush defended his unconventional approach. I mean, anything when you're trying something outside the box, people inside the box think you're nuts. <laughs> Same thing when uh, Elon Musk was doing SpaceX. Inside the box, everything's scary. But as early as 2018, there was concern about the Titan's design. A former employee says that when he raised safety concerns, Rush fired him. That same year, a group of submersible engineers urged Rush to seek certification of the Titan by a safety agency. Wow. Rush declined, saying that regulation would stifle innovation. At some point, safety just is pure wow. waste. I mean, if you just want to be safe, don't get out of bed, don't get in your car, don't do anything. Yeah. At some point, you're going to take some risk, and it really is a risk-reward question. I said, I think I can do this just as safely by breaking the rules. So, Whoa. Captain McLaren, um, have you spent much so time? So basically, he broke the rules. Basically. And he did it his way. He didn't care about the, you know, the safety of others because he wanted to live on the wild side. Outside the box. Outside the box. He got tired of people telling him what he could do. And the re he didn't want to hear the rules and the regulations. And he fired one of his workers that went against him. And let him know, like, you know, this is... This might not be a good idea. And he, and wow, the guy got this, is, this is pretty rough, you know. And it was like a warning after warning after warning, you know. Um, it's so many red flags. Yeah. It, it's so sad and unfortunate. Warning comes before destruction, right? Most and definitely. They had that warning. Here we go, guys. Let's finish it up. And in submarines. David, my total time under the water 
divorced from the outside atmosphere is a little over five and three quarters years. No kidding. Fact. Wow. Retired U.S. Navy submarine captain Alfred McLaren is not impressed by Ocean Gate's innovations. I mean, would you fly in an airplane that somebody excitedly tell you, well, it's going to be a lot cheaper because we found a new way of attaching the wings? Yeah, right. <laughs> he theorizes wow. that the Titan that, failed not because it was sense. made of carbon fiber, but because it was made of three dissimilar materials, carbon what? fiber, titanium, and plexiglass for the porthole. Oh. When you have different materials, different molecular structure, they have different coefficients of expansion and compression, and you then you make repeated cycles in depth. Of course, you're going to work that seal loose, and that's why submarines don't run around with with any portholes at all. Come to think of it, it's a weak point. Right. I think there's a, a great, almost surreal um, irony here, which is Titanic sank because the captain took it full steam into a an ice field at night on a moonless night with very poor visibility uh, after he had been repeatedly warned by telegram by Marconi Graham. In an interview with Anderson Cooper, filmmaker and veteran Titanic diver James Cameron pointed out a sad parallel between Stockton Rush and the captain of the Titanic. The arrogance and the hubris that sent that ship to its doom is exactly the same thing that sent those people in that, that sub to their fate. Wow. The world mourns the loss of Stockton Rush, P.H. Narjaleh, and their three passengers, British billionaire Hamish Harding, Pakistani businessman Jazada Daywood, and his son Suleiman. Already there's talk of restrictions and regulations and lawsuits. Will the Ocean Gate disaster mean fewer people going adventuring? Well, Every year, people do die skydiving and scuba diving and climbing Mount Everest. Tragic every time, and yet, people still keep coming. Some people just have that itch. For them, danger is the point. The risk of dying gives meaning to living. I think Stockton Rush was among them. I wanted to be wow. sort of the Captain Kirk. Right, right. Um, I didn't want to be the passenger in the back. <laughs> and I realized that the ocean is is the universe. That's where life is. Wow, in the ocean. Wow, man, that's unbelievable. That's taking, a, that's taking a chance. That's taking a chance right there. And unfortunately, they didn't return. This is so sad and sad. unfortunate because this whole mission wasn't supposed to happen. I know yeah, they say everything place. happens for a reason, but it really wasn't supposed to happen because from the beginning, it was a, a red flag. It was a red flag. It was a warning that there is going to be destruction, but it seemed like it was his fate. That's the way he wanted to go. It, it, That's what it's seeming like yeah, to me. Like yep. He had a plan to go out. This, he went out doing what he absolutely loved. Unfortunately, other people were involved in, you know. Yeah, and it's like, you know, his destruction. To their families and their loved ones. Um, it's really a sad story. Yes. You know, wow. That's it seems like if he want if he went anyway, he wanted to go out that way. Just the way he wanted to go out. Yes, like it Just was a plan. It, it why does it feel like it was a plan to me? I don't know, but it seemed like these guys were like intelligent and they knew what they were doing, but you know, something went wrong. Even though he's something went it's wrong. It's like he's saying it in the interview about the risk. Yeah. Like forget the you know, forget the rules and regulations. Breaking the rules, living on edge. Like, like I can do this. Yeah, like I'm gonna write my own rules. Yeah, like I don't the, care about it was a thrill for him. The old just, rules. Just knowing that he could possibly go out this way. Yeah. You know, it felt it feels like that's what he wanted and unfortunately other people were involved in this. And a lot of people love the Titanic and, you know, seeing it the pictures and, and, yeah. and, and everything about the Titanic and I mean I think it gave him a thrill. It's so mysterious and it's like the greatest mystery of all time. And like what in happened? Nineteen twelve, I think. How did, you know, so how did ago. this happen? Who wouldn't want to go and see that for themselves? Yes. Like, 
I would want to. But would I you pay two hundred and fifty thousand? No, I wouldn't. You know, it's something that I will. It's a dream of mine, but I would never have right. the guts to go to go down there in that water. Nah, I don't want to go. I you just know. look at the pictures. I'll be fine with that. And it's just the end of Ocean Gate. Like you know, he had a big company, and he was the CEO and the owner. So, is that the end of Ocean Gate? Looking at how it was built, you can see that it wasn't safe. And it's like you can't even stand up. It's like you gotta sit down all the time, and it's like it's like a little bubble. Uh, ah, yeah. I would be so uncomfortable the first. There were no gadgets minutes. inside, and controls. one button, one con- like. In a Xbox. Is this ran like, by battery? Like oh no. Is the controller ran by battery? No sir. Like. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I gotta get off. It looked like something like an experiment, basically. Yeah. Um, Rest wow. in peace to the lives that were lost in this tragedy. Prayers going out to their families. Yes. This is unfortunate and truly heartbreaking. Wow. Guys, we want to thank you for watching. We appreciate it. We're signing off at this time. Hey, it's your boy Sean. And your girl. Yes, yes, yes. Bye. All right, guys. Have an amazing day. On purpose. purpose. All right. Peace.